In today's video, we'll understand how to remove duplicate rows from a table. So there are four ways by which we can do so. First is using a temporary table. Second is using auto ID. Third is using row number. Fourth is using CTE. Let's understand each one of them one by one. The first way is by using a temporary table. So the, uh, what are we going to do is first we'll select distinct star into new table from old table. So what is this step doing is it will select all the distinct items and put it in a new table now a second step is delete star from old table so this will delete all the items from the old table you can either do you can also do truncate over here okay whichever suits best so we delete delete all the items from the old table and the third step is we'll insert into old table select star from new table so we're going to select all the items from the new table and what does our new table have all the distinct items and we'll insert it into a into our old table which is empty at this very moment so so uh, so our old table will now have all the distinct items and the fourth step would be drop table new table so we will drop the new table this is how by using temporary table we can uh, remove all the duplicate items okay second way is by using auto id so what we're going to do here is we have a table employee which has employee id and empl employee name it has some duplicate items like 5001 is uh, repeated thrice so this is our duplicate item so what are we going to do here is first of all uh, this uh, first of all we're going to add an auto id in this table okay auto id is something like this auto auto id is like this one two three four five uh, we are using it here uh, because the employee IDs are something like 5001, 5002, 5003 but we want all of them to be something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and each one should, each each row should have one unique identifier so hence we use auto ID um, uh, so this is how we will uh, alter the table, alter table employee, we will alter this table employee add auto ID, auto ID is just a name given to this field okay so add auto id int its its data type would be int and identity one comma one what does identity one comma one do is uh, what are the parameters of identity uh, one is seed and one is increment seed is basically from which you want to start okay so i want to start it from one because i'm starting from one and increment one means i will increment it by one every single time so one two three four five one by one and this is how i will add a auto id in this table okay now a next step is to delete star from employee where auto id not in select min auto id from employee group by imp id imp name now first of all the inner query this sub query will be executed so what is the inner query select min auto id from employee group by imp id as we already know min is a aggregate function whenever there are aggregate functions we have to use group by so it's going to group them by imp id imp id so all the 501s will be together 502s will be together 503s will be together okay and now it will select min from each one of them so uh, basically this inner inner query will return the minimum of uh, all the imp ids so it will return one it will return three and it will return two it will not return 4 or 5 because 4 and 5 are not minimum they are not minimum i hope this is clear so the inner query will return will return 1 2 and 3 okay because it is selecting the minimum auto id minimum from these where uh, in the groups okay okay the first group will be 5001 5001 5, these three will be in one group and the minimum of these three group is one so one will be returned 5002 is only one 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 time written so it will return three 5003 will return two okay the, uh, so this is what this um, inner query will return what will it return one two and three now what is the outer query delete star from employee where auto id not in what is the inner query one two three so basically it will delete all the items from this table which are not one two three so except one two three it will return all the other rows so it will uh, it will delete fourth one fifth one because delete is a one. so basically only the first three will be uh, returned uh, and the rest two will be deleted and that is our motive we have to remove the duplicate items and that we did using auto id so i think this was clear now the third way is by using row number now let's see the query 
delete from this is an inner query and there is a condition where condition okay let's see the inner query first so the inner query says select star comma row number over partition by id order by id as are in from my table let's understand what row number exactly does over here okay so there is a row number row number is also something like one two three four it's giving unique identifiers but what is uh, what is written ahead of it row number over partition by id now what this does is it will partition it by what id so it will create partitions now initially my table was something like this it had employ employee id and employee name 5001 being repeated thrice okay so this is what uh, the table initially looked like now when i uh, write something like row number over over partition by id now i will partition them by ids so all the ids will be written together so see 5001 5002 uh, sorry 5001 5001 uh, written together the 502s are written together 503 is written together so this is basically creating partitions and now i've written row number over partition so every time a new partition starts it will start with a new row number so see the 5001 has two row numbers one and two 5002 will again start with one one two three and 5003 will start with one this is basically what row number does so row number over partition by id order by id now what does order by id means basically uh, it will order them by this id this is supposed to be imp underscore id but i've written id please excuse that okay uh, so it will order them by id so 5001 502 in order it is written okay so this entire thing row number this entire thing as r and this entire underline the one I have written underlined with yellow is one enti entire thing. So this entire row number will be will be uh, will be called R N because I have written this 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 as R N. So this is R N. Okay. So basically, this this inner query is returning what this table. So uh, let's understand again. Select star comma row number over partition by ID order by ID as R N from my table whatever your table name was okay this is what it will return now what is what does our outer query do delete okay delete everything from this inner query where rn is greater than one so wherever rn rn is what this row number wherever rn is greater than one so this two two three all of these will be deleted and hence we'll only be left with 501 5001 5002 5003 only ones and hence we will remove all the duplicate items now the fourth way is by using ct what is ct common table expression uh, i'll explain it in a very uh, sm uh, in a short way so what is cte it is used as a temporary result set and it lasts only for the duration of a query you can just understand it as of now as a temporary table which will only last for the duration of the query so uh, this is very similar to the above query so here uh, uh, um, uh, we write with ct ct is just a name given to cte okay with with ct as so this uh, the this temporary table is this inner query select row number over partition by id order by id as r and from my table this is the same thing which was written over here the same thing is now just be, uh, being used with cte so this will again return this the ct is basically this table again and the next thing is delete from ct where rn is greater than one so wherever rn is greater than one it will be deleted this is uh, very similar to the above query i hope this was clear thank you for watching